The demonstration shown in this video is intended to provide clarification on technical issues that may arise with use of the 3M Series 100 Automated Integrity Test Device. For additional technical clarification, please refer to the operations manual supplied with the device or contact 3M Purification Technical Support. The 3M Series 100 Automated Integrity Test Device is activated via the button located on the left side of the device. After this button is pressed, it requires approximately 5 seconds before startup information appears on the menu screen and it's verified the device is operational. Pressing the button again prior to the startup messages appearing on the display screen will result in the device being deactivated. The service menu on the device allows the user to edit a number of parameters that will change infrequently. The most common include the date, time, language, and units of pressure displayed. In addition to these parameters, there are also settings in the service menu that should be accessed if technical issues arise. To access the service menu, first activate the device by pressing the On button. A series of messages displays including the latest version information. It will then note the last test program used or display the message, Filter Unknown. Press Stop on the device keypad, followed by the down arrow until Service displays on the screen. Press the Pound icon. Press the 7 button. Press the up arrow two times. This is the calibration menu. Press the start button to view the next calibration date. Press the stop button to return to the prior menu. Press the up arrow four times. This is where stored test results and test programs can be cleared from the device or the device can be returned to its default unused state if desired. Be advised that the device can only store 99 test results. At that time, any new test results generated will overwrite stored test results from oldest to most recent. Further, no new test programs can be entered until all test data and test programs are cleared from the device. There are two options in this menu. Press Start to view the first option. If desired, press the Star button to clear all stored test results and test programs from the device. Alternatively, press the up arrow. If desired, press the star button to clear everything from the device, including calibration information. It is strongly advised this option not be enacted, unless one is certain they would like to have the device recalibrated. If neither option is desired, press the stop button to return to the prior menu. Press the up arrow this is where the threshold pressure setting can be adjusted. The pressure threshold is the range of pressure that must be adhered to once an integrity test begins. There is a lower and upper threshold value programmed in the device. The default value for both is 0.4 PSI. For example, if the program test pressure is 40 PSI and the pressure threshold is set to the default value of 0.4 PSI, then the device would allow for the test pressure to vary from 39.6 PSI to 40.4 PSI once the integrity test began. Failure to remain within this pressure range would yield a false result. Press the Start button to view the current lower pressure threshold. The setting programmed must be between 0.14 and 1.45 PSI. If desired, the lower pressure threshold value can be changed. Numbers move from right to left when entered. To save the value, the star button must be pressed. This also leads to the next menu, the upper pressure threshold value. As with the lower pressure threshold, the setting program must be between 0.14 and 1.45 PSI. A larger pressure threshold setting allows for more tolerance of slight pressure variations during the integrity test. A more narrow pressure threshold setting ensures variation from desired test pressure is minimal. Press the star button to save any changes made and to return to the main threshold menu. 
press the stop button to return to the main service menu. Press the up or down arrows on the device keypad until self-test displays. Press start. The device will execute a series of tests and at the conclusion will display self-test OK with the green light blinking if the device is operating properly. Otherwise, an error code will display. If this occurs, note the code and contact 3M Purification Technical Support. At the conclusion of the test, press Stop to return to the main menu. This self-test check should be conducted on a monthly basis. Following are typical error diagnostic codes that may display on the device and an explanation of each. This message is an indication that the battery life is low. In the event this message appears, the device should immediately be connected to the AC power and or charged. In the event the device does not activate when connected to AC power or fully charged, the battery supplied with the device may be exhausted. The battery typically lasts two years. The battery can be accessed and replaced by removing the battery panel on the back of the device. Because of the complexity of the wiring involved, it's recommended to contact 3M Purification Technical Support to complete the task of battery pack replacement. This message is an indication that the maximum recommended pressure has been exceeded. Pressure should be immediately reduced or the device disconnected from the pressurized system. This message is an indication that the maximum recommended device operating temperature has been exceeded. Note the resulting measurements are potentially no longer reliable. This message is an indication that the minimum recommended device operating temperature has been exceeded. Note that resulting measurements are potentially no longer reliable. This message is an indication that the pressure measurement yielded by the device is no longer reliable. This message is an indication that a measurement error is present. For either of these error messages, contact 3M Purification Technical Support. This message is an indication that a data error is present. Contact 3M Purification Technical Support. This message is indicative of a general error that may appear. Note any values displayed and contact 3M Purification Technical Support. Note that the majority of technical issues that may arise from use of the device can be remedied by reviewing the technical training videos, programming the device, conducting a test, and or proper installation of membrane filters. If questions persist after review of these technical training videos, in addition to material addressed in this troubleshooting video, please contact 3M Purification Technical Support.